<laughs> so guys, yeah. I have started a new journey. Oh yeah, your trust. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> Dumela and Dumelanga Lidima di Saka Filama Hang Mo, Laka Vito Kamanda and Chiba, Mika Jen Hakita Makil Moon, Kitama Liba Simisi Mo, Waka Ilen Katla, Chiba, Libuji Biko, I keep queer way of life. Hasaka Otoloa, Otra Papu Sinzaronata Hasosa, David, Mashavela Studio, Utwa. Sorry, when did you learn that? <laughs> Yo, I used to cram a lot. That other station, that one. Yeah. No, was, the light one. <laughs> the clothes are yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Amanda, thank you so much for that intro. That was dope. <laughs> that was dope. And this is the Queer of Life with me, Bougie, alongside Amanda and Katli. Yeah. How are you guys doing? No, we're good. We're good. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, besides this thing where you lock down, man. I, I see, because yeah, we're drinking no. water. Hey, sh- guys, <laughs> there's not even uh, lemons or anything. Hey? Nothing, no garnish, no nothing. Mm. Yeah, ne? But Oksala, yo. I'm my man, I'm my man, I'm my man. Tell me one. Yeah. You look like the Janice Jackson, you know the Janice Jackson music video? Who's where she's wearing like black cap and that jacket. Who's and then? What's the occasion? So the occasion is I've been dry for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm in morning. Sex. <laughs> Sexually dry. Oh. I'm in mourning. Guys, in mourning. Guys, you know, Mina and sex, we same WhatsApp group. Same WhatsApp group. Yeah. So it's been it's been a rough week. Is it? Mm. It's been a rough week for me. Is it? Like yeah. I wanna do it now. <laughs> oh, Konjo, your, your, your Instagram account got deleted. My Instagram account got deleted. It was hacked. And then it was deleted. Mm. And I've, I don't understand who do such a thing. Mm. 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 My heart is so sore. Like, you don't understand. Listen, guys, I only like 37,000 followers. Ooh. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have the 7,000. <laughs> You're still reaching for the stars, yo, darling. Yo, and my yo, account yo. was verified, guys. Yes. Uh. And I don't understand it would be so evil to do such a thing because I've tried getting the account back mm. and then now this other guy said, I can give you an account back if you pay me in Bitcoin. And then the other one charged me like $200 to get back the account. And then when but I go to... How legit is this? Listen, when I go to Facebook and... Because and, Facebook owns Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they, send, they said I must send my photo, send what, what. And I'm busy sending a photo of me with a number. And I must write my name. Because <laughs> it's been such torture. It's an application. It's an application <laughs> on its own. And now I've got a new account. And which is like 500 followers now, I think. Mm, mm. And I'm trying to follow everyone. Like I started following you guys. Yeah. And I'm literally following everyone that I've been following because I've like I've followed like 2,000 people yeah. so I'm not sure how I'm going to get there so basically you're asking our chillers to follow you I need following but <laughs> oh, please what's the handle what's the, the handle the handle is at Bushibika one word B-U-J-Y B-I-K-W-A I would really appreciate it guys it hurts yeah, yeah. Because I it hurts you don't understand mm. whoever did this because I like they were helping me now because mm. I had to use my powers and use my name mm. you know to say like pay attention like this is what happened mm. so they found out that it was hacked in uh it's someone in in randberg mm-hmm. because least, they didn't delete my account at least okay. you have a, li- a link so link now i just want to because i'm suspecting someone that knew my details and uh, god please help if it's the person that i think it is who did this <laughs> 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 Who removed you from riches but to rags? No! <laughs> I Listen, it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you take it on the and keep it on the phone, device. Because mm. now I'm just because it says device unknown. Mm. Already they were able to locate it and then say they gave me the location. So now it says device unknown. Once I see the device, guys, I'll know exactly who did it. Who and then. People are so mean, hey? My man, like, guys, they're doing in plain language. Little Balakan, I love. Happy. Hey, 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 hey,
Hey, you want to get a bandit tell for a day? Can you please solve bail for the day? I'm not a kiss on no can. I will drink the water but for I'm, now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I was saying uh, before we started shooting that I'm so happy that we've got the fans that we have, like the people that are so dedicated to oh, watching. Oh man, watching the, the chillers, the guys! Thank like, you so much. Mm. Shout out, the TJ! Life. Shout out, uh, yeah. Shout out. We see you guys. We appreciate you. Like you don't know how much it means to know yes. that we are not just speaking to this crew here. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them don't even bitch. <laughs> <No. laughs> They're on holiday. We're we on holiday. Mesh and I are. While we are shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really happy, guys, and we, we appreciate it. Um, it, the conversations have started. The conversations Definitely. have started, and I'm so happy for this platform that uh, even MacGyver or Academia audience ever to street. So it's so nice because this is uh, it's a liberated platform. It allows us to engage one another. It allows us to be corrected and to correct each other. So it's it's a beautiful platform. Well done, Buji. Thank you so well much. And and, and and I think also remember when I said I want to start my podcast, mm. like from last year, I went, and then. We when Meg G and I said, it just felt so, it felt like it, it, it had to happen, mm. you know, and then sync. it was in sync. And then this, uh, and then I, I got Petros from Exit who asked me, and then he says to me, uh, why did you join the podcast and chill network after they were called homophobes? I was like, mm. do you know one thing that you guys are not aware of is that these conversations happen always mm. it's just that it was done in a platform and obviously because they're heterosexual you mm. always judge them and mm. if you want to teach people how to treat you you cannot teach them from outside you need to be within yeah mm. because you, you you're standing outside like please love me in a can I call relationship yeah. and then you know exactly because it's it's, it's there's are conversations that happen on a daily basis mm. I've once seen a guy who once looked at me with so much disgust I cringed mm. I was like this man if he had an, if he had a gun, he would have shot me. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And again, you know, there's um, some chillers that are, are in the closet. You know, there's people that watch. But they don't want to make us aware that they are watching. <laughs> yeah, <they're> watching. <laughs> you know, you yeah. know, because I mean, uh, guys, this platform is good. Like, uh, you get to see the ladies' podcast. You get to see uh, DJ Jaws. Shout out to Even DJ Jaws. Even though Meg G and them cheated us uh, <laughs> with their dry fish, and then they say they won. Oh, at the team <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm going back to white cookies now. <laughs> right. But actually, it's kilo naba winning chomid. Kilo naba winning your fish was. Oh, dare you? Kati cheated. He's a freaking cheat. He owns a catering company. Like, what do you oh, expect? Manko. <laughs> <laughs> no, but darling, everybody was rushing for mm. the oven. And I'm mm. like, mm. can I just be creative? Yeah. You know, and because everybody was, you know, worried about having the fish being cooked on time and all that. <laughs> I was like, do they know that it takes at least five to seven minutes to fry fish Are on high serious? heat? Especially the stoves that we mm. were using. Guys, you can watch stoves. this on the ladies podcast. It, yeah. I think it's titled <laughs> Team Building What What. But it was so beautiful and funny and we were sober throughout. Oh, uh, coming uh, from you, Amanda. <laughs> the loudest in the kitchen. <laughs> Amanda and Soap and Duca. Oh, it was battle disaster. of the voices. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. I have started a new journey. Oh, yeah? Yeah, trust. I'm <laughs> joking. I will take offense. <laughs> Cut this my comment. Yo. Oh my Yo. goodness. I'm saying I don't have a WhatsApp. I'm not going for three years. The way I stab on a corner. I'm going to stab on two years. I'm going to stab on two years. I'm going to stab So no. Thank no. you. Yeah. So guys, I've started this new process, right? I'm opening myself to dating again. So I've started online dating. <laughs> and I'm on an online platform right now mm. and then I use my real name Junior Says. yes mm. and I've met quite a few interesting people because with my account I don't want to hide the person that I am mm. because, like we can't really meet people right now obviously because of lockdown level 4 mm. and just I'm tired of just meeting people that are just not ready to be in a relationship hmm but now I find it so scary being online 
because people are chances, guys. Oh. Oh. Mara, oh. Oh. okay. And cycles. Yeah. So uh, I I believe because I've 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 okay. Let me not lie. I've been on an online platform, but not with my prof. I don't think I'm brave enough. I was back then. I was not brave enough to say to put my real picture and my my real names. And mm-hmm. so, are you? Are, are you are you are you okay with it? I'm okay with it because mm. I feel like I'm in a space whereby I really want to build a relationship. You know, mm. I really mm. want to, and if it, if, and I also want to open myself to meeting people mm. because I hardly meet anyone. I'm forever at work or at my house. <laughs> so in in these workplaces, like because you're a DJ and you're a host, you don't meet potential. Oh, darling, you do, but sometimes mm. you you oh, just darling. they feel like more of you feel like it's more of a fan, fan. is it? You know, and it's you, you know, I, I once met a guy who was so handsome and. And the first thing that he did that turned me off was he commented on my nail polish. I had like a glitter nail polish. Like, so if me and you had to do something, you need to remove that nail polish. I'm like, motherfucker, I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> and which so was, did you so call? So was that rapey? Yeah, it was very really like, all of a sudden, you have assumed that we're going to be in a relationship. Uh, you are already telling me, remove the nail polish. Next thing is going to say, like, I want you. I'm just like this guy. So you think you're that hot. I was like, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, but but in general, like now that you are using your real name, do people send you mean DMs or? Uh, I've I've received a lot of um, messages, and one of the guys that I'm talking to right now, uh, but his bottom. Mm. And so me and him were discussing because he's such a lovely person as well, and and I'm so glad that I met him because we're discussing the fact that so many gay guys are bottom guys. Okay. Okay. And my biggest thing is like, you want to tell me as a bottom you don't get any erection? Come on, guys! Like we cannot have seventy-five <laughs> bottoms and twenty-five percent of tops. Mm. It's mm. it's it's ridiculous. And us, one percent of one percent of versatile. Mm. Because I've seen guys that are top, but who don't mind being bottom. Mm. You know, don't mind you know receiving. Mm. You know, but so now everybody and now the thing about the bottoms, ne Runa, the power bottoms. Yo, guys, we are such a disaster. I want a man who's masculine, a man who has his own house, a man who... I'm like, bitch, who said you're a woman? (laughs) (laughs) It's just generally ridiculous. Because you want things from another man that you cannot even have yourself. Mm, mm, Like, mm. what's your problem? Now I understand when a woman wants a man who's financial, like, wants a certain level of protection. Mm. You know, I mean, it's... it's, I I think that's how it it works anyway. As a man, you want to be a provider, Mm, you mm. know? Um... Now you meet someone who identifies as gay, you are not trans, you are not a woman, you are a man. Hmm. And you are demanding all these things from another man. Because I mean, speaking of online dating and, you know, how social media is now working, mm-hmm. I mean, like uh, my Facebook, guys, my Facebook inbox is on steroids and we were really these guys that are behind the closet mm. and all that but when they get to your inbox they become so personal it's like they already own you you know <laughs> so well, I it's, it's and all the friend requests and i've already clocked 5k so i had oh. to open a fan page because oh. i can't oh. i can't accept oh. some some people that you meet from high school yeah. will not be able yeah. to engage with me yeah. because i yeah. can't ex- so i had to open a fan page and the minute you know, you, you get a friend request and you accept. Ten seconds later, hi. It's like, mm. and because last night I had 340 friend requests mm. and I don't have time to go and vet. Guys, mm. really. Mm. <laughs> Ten seconds later, my mm. inbox is full. And now I don't know who to answer to. I don't know who to respond to because sometimes people are there for genuine 
friendship mm. and others are there for work others are there to get advice guys it's hectic but, man. but you've been getting a lot of dick pics remember me and you Ooh. complained the other day like guys we get sent dick pics mm. like on a normal like it's someone sent me their dick pic and then said you can have me for 250 rands and then I said oh my that's a going rate last time when I slept with a male prostitute they were going for 600 rands so that's the price it's of cheap. no no honestly <laughs> it's called Corona Corona <laughs> take it or leave it take it or leave, take it or leave it. it so it's like I'm like oh wow so is, is this the going rate now oh. 250 oh wow that's what I'm saying it's now being used as 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 selling sex platform sorry oh. selling sex platform because now um, you you uh, recently I think today is Saturday so on Wednesday I got another dig peek from a 2002 I don't know. Okay, 2002. How old are they? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Same I'm age kidding. as my daughter. 2002 is 18 years. Yeah. Same age as my daughter. Yeah. Sends me an inbox. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm like, where are you from? Mm. He says, KZN. I'm top. I like sleeping with gay guys. I'm like... I'm gay. I don't like sleeping with straight guys. <laughs> and then he sends me his dick pic. An 18-year-old guy sends me his dick pic in my inbox. Can it look without, good, though? Oh, no, darling. <laughs> <laughs> guys, these kids, what are they eating? Danons and cheese and viennas and yo. yo. No. And I was like, okay, Abu Dwahao doesn't have that size. Yeah. Oh, wow. What are you doing with such a huge tool? Because nah, I, I, I just uh, feel like it's okay when you're getting DMs, as long as it's not rude and how you know, because I've been getting a lot of finger compliments. I don't know if I should be offended or what. Ooh, your fingers. Ooh, your fingers. Guys, finger stop it. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> stop it, stop it, Check stop my it. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Yours hey. will not work. <laughs> <laughs> and who said we use fingers? Yeah? Oh, hey. oh, 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 oh. Hey. Puman Gim. The, 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 the point is, the point is, the point is, stop commenting on my fingers. When you have soft twirl ice cream, Nana, <laughs> how, what do you do with it? We have what? Soft twirl ice cream. Not these magnums and what what's. Mm -hmm. Soft twirl that comes out of the ice cream machine. It works. So I get it, it's you, dripping. You, you, you so it's, it's so the tongue is functional and there's no that was not the topic the topic <laughs> was to say <laughs> like it's even if i should get offended or what <laughs> but uh we've got some funny people sliding into the dms guys like yeah, people are so funny and, and it's so shocking because some of them you you end up others you know they're so persistent mm. like they're so persistent like yeah. they'll send you good morning every day good mm. morning how are you have a have a wonderful day. Mm. Mm. I like you, by the way. Mm. And, in, and then now the thing about those DMs that sometimes they'll find you when you are all by yourself, mm. and then you are lonely, mm. and then you respond. Mm. <laughs> hey, what you have started? Yeah. What you have started? Yeah. I'm caught up in that now. Is it? Yeah, with four. Patungwena. Patungwena. Habuto ring. Different provinces. <laughs> If there's so, one thing that I'm not willing to do mm -hmm. is to date someone who's out of Gauteng. Yeah, I am yeah. the worst in terms of long yeah, long, long I'm, I'm relationships. I've got Mozambique, it. I've got Nigeria yeah. now, and I've okay. got... Okay. I've got, okay. I've got okay. I, don't, I don't have to see... Uh, it? Clearly, it's chillers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's clear. oh, also, and I know that it's chillers because somebody also on our, on our, um, on our page said that if we could have subtitles mm. so, and she's from namibia because oh, she doesn't yeah. understand shout Vanak. out shout out so shout it out. is it is anyone and everyone from anywhere mm. so they oh. do slide in and i'm sometimes thinking so if you're going to send me a naked picture of yourself and you're in nigeria what do you think is going to happen now you're going to fly here <laughs> definitely i'm not flying there yeah. you know yeah. so it's from everywhere but mm. i'm enjoying it because you do find genuine people mm -hmm. and then and guys please forex please yo, yo. please i am tired of the forex Yo. guys they are like come on 
If you're really that rich, leave us alone. We'll mm. come to or, you. Or, or, no, how about you give us the money? <laughs> <laughs> and Kiro, now you say you've made twenty seven thousand. Send us seven ribbon. Yeah, yeah. Give it, give it motivated so that I can join. Mm. Or when I enter, tell it how um join is. Yeah, yeah, no, I. But what about the forex ribbon? Now they are very abusive. Extremely very abusive and very persistent yeah. as well. They are constantly in so our inboxes. When last were you guys at church? <sighs> I don't. I, I church at home, mm. and I church on YouTube, mm. and Me I. Too. Yeah, I never really do church. Why? Mm. Last year for me. Last year. Yeah. Mm, okay. No, I've been watching the politics, and I I saw that the pastors are fighting to open the church doors because they don't have money to pay rent for current lock level four. Yeah, that we, yeah, okay. for the current lockdown. And I was like, okay, funny how I think people have went online. Like most most people are on VOD and SVOD and things like that. So I was just wondering if do people really really still go to church? Mm, well, well, with me, people really do go to church. Mm, mm. I mean, especially because church works uh, with people that are. This is what I've realized. And I tend to be corrected. In most cases, churches strive to work with people that are most vulnerable. True. You know, they especially I'm a I'm a I'm a son to us was a was a my look she they work with your vulnerability. Mm. And with me, because I don't like being in that space, mm. I've learned to define my relationship with God in a different way. So I I kid again and easy if you look cracking, I want the music. Mm. And if the pastor starts preaching in most cases with me, mm. I am literally, I want to say something and say, Maruna manga. <laughs> you are lying. You know what? Don't lie to me. If you want to lose me, <laughs> it's when you are going to start saying, in Hebrew, it means. <laughs> yo, yo. I, like, don't. How and, do you and, know? Also, yo, yo, and also yo, yo, with yo. church, I've been so <laughs> resentful because of how. Uh, homosexuality oh, yeah? has been treated in these churches mm. and for me it's like if you don't want me and these and they must suffer well I never buy toilet collect because <laughs> I'm sure if nobody is gay or gay I don't to send the e-wallet therefore EFT EFT so therefore stick to your people I see the level 4 lockdown let's say but there are a lot of people that still go to church because I saw a pastor who posted on social media and said before man then. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so this is actually a money making scheme now. Uh, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. But it means Everybody people are attending. So. But let me but tell you, with any movement in life, mm. it needs money. Okay. Be it Christianity, be it us fighting uh, homophobia, be it, it needs money. Of mm. course. So you mm. can't just say, I am doing this for charity. Ah! No. <laughs> Love. Speaking of money, guys, be on the lookout for our merchandise. <laughs> hey! 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 So Amanda shows us the merchandise because we're a bit tailor on. <laughs> I'm like, how much is this? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna have dope merchandise. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Watch. And I'm asked. It's a mask. Mask. Like I don't mm. want anything that is not detailed, that doesn't mm. represent anyone that is queer. Mm. You know, mm. we can have, you know, those clean looking pieces. Mm. But at the same time, I'm just like, mm. can you just can you just reach me? it a bit yeah. you know uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so boma, boma tuta. Well, yeah, I'm just like mm. you know it's too basic I mm. wouldn't see myself yeah. for you yeah. so we're just working on that so you guys be on the lookout and we really want to start doing things that represent the queer culture because yeah. I think more than anything we we, 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 we are the voices now and one yeah. of the biggest queer Podcasts mm-hmm. and uh, also on being number one, on number one <laughs> podcast and chill network, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I would understand why people sometimes want to delete our accounts mm-hmm. <laughs> and want to come for us. Yeah. But more than anything, we really want to give people a space of understanding that we're all human. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, for you, so we're chillers, guys. Be on the lookout for our event coming soon. See those towers there, there, there by Soweto called Chaf Posey. We'll be coming there soon. We'll announce. Do you know details. I used to work for Chaf Posey before? Serious? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a white yeah. lady. Lady host. I was, I was, there, I was the host mm. today. Mm. Like for the longest time, with Abu like them. Like, oh yeah, we like had, still there. We had like an amazing relationship, mm. but I had to go to. Bigger, greener parts. <laughs> 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 no, Lucky's still there, Sherman. He's pushing. Hey? 
He's pushing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Chafpozi, guys, Namayako Chafpozi. I think uh, in Soweto, it's Bafuking. My my top three is Bafuking, uh, Chafpozi. I used to work for Bafuking as well. Is it? Yes, I used to host every Thursday mm. karaoke sessions. Goodness. Yeah. Just, like, guys, now, has a. Like, I'm doing nothing. I've done it all. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Ambassador. Like, <laughs> but, like right now, I yeah, host every yeah. Sunday at Soul Cafe. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, so. I, I've always been the type of person who just doesn't like sitting around. Mm, mm. I, I I don't function well in that space. But I'm I'm sure it, it's said to be famous and and broke. It is. No, so you can't you can't be famous and have a hundred thousand followers on social media and your bank balance is sticker ticking. It really doesn't make sense. But it does happen. Let me tell you mm. how it happens because we become so obsessed with fame, mm-hmm. we forget the business part of it. That's what I'm saying. Which it is, doesn't make sense. Mm. Which is very scary. You mm, know. Mm. It's also you look. Look at, I mean, I'm not easily faced by people who say they have money. Nine, nine. I mean, as gay guys, we're able to pull the money look very well. Mm. I mean, La La yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the only time whereby you're able to see the person for who they are is when you get to see them outside the space of shakers. Because oh, yeah. a lot of gay guys don't like showing their houses. Mm-hmm. They like showing where they stay. Mm-hmm. It's always a secret. It's always... And then I remember when I stayed at home in Orange Farm, I had Manda visiting me and I was never ashamed of where I come from. Like, mm-hmm. I, it, it shocks me mm-hmm. when I see gay guys do that. Mm-hmm. Whereby you're so fabulous on the streets. Mara... How do you feel like it's limits? It's just like mm. priorities. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I, I just feel as though well, it's about the way we we are fake it till we make it type of a people has has just no, put I a can't. lot a lot of people under pressure unnecessarily so because I uh, I forced like I feel like also being part of the queer community is like a lot of PR a lot of events <laughs> yo, like, guys. Being, being queer is PR itself yo, it's yo, so yo, much yo, work yo, yo, because you're yo. constantly at a battle of having to make yourself mm. heard mm. accepted it's mm. PR people mm. are not even aware mm. heard accepted loved appreciated mm. Mm. you are constantly working as a publicist yourself mm. because of all of the things that we've created for ourselves because yeah, nobody has man. done this for us we've we've actually put the pressure on ourselves yeah because unnecessarily so I mm. need I need because <laughs> I need. Need. and I love I how she says I love how she says yeah, I need. I need. <laughs> I know, I because also um I, I, you know, there's things that I, I'm like careful about. Like, you see this beautiful shirt of mine. Because I'm really five, six appearing. You know, those are the things that I'm careful about. You know, those are the things that I'm careful about. But I'm not about to break my budget for 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 PR. Like, I'm not about to really, really, really go for a rich Missy Jay Z when I can't afford it. You know. He, he, he gets to say, I'll just go and print the rich <laughs> so they can just go, Mr. Price. <laughs> 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 and our about Mr. Price, they're very much capable. They're very much capable. <laughs> lich yeah. miss, lich yeah. miss. <laughs> he also forgetting Pep. Pep yeah. these days. Yo. Quality of Pep. When? Should we go and get self? I, my friend, oh my God, he's going to kill me for this, but I'm going to expose him. Gavin, right? Mm. So Gavin Gucci fight comes. He is dressed to the nines. He has his Louis Vuitton, um, Louis Vuitton sand and he has this two piece that he's wearing. Mm. I am like, you don't tell me, oh, hot or mm. so I'm just mm. like, oh, you look so fine. It's like, mm. and then later on, it's like, schedule's about to keep pep. Oh, <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. He's get, but oh. he looked so hot. And then mm. I realized that actually fashion mm. is all about where you buy it. It's mm. the sense. It's mm. the sense of it. No. Because if you was able to pull that look yeah. off, let me tell you, with just simple sandals, still Louis Vuitton, mm. and that mm. outfit, and no rock. Dr. Matebula is not a Kill me again. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, but the yeah, sense yeah. really does make it really does make a difference. And it adds, you need to just add your own. You spoke about me looking like Janet Jackson. Yes. Like, but Zoot. Do you know how old Zoot is? <laughs> Zoot Nana. Mm. I look like I'm wearing a you know, a jacket from mm, somewhere. Gazagazanga. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> no, no man, I, man. No. I, I think Mutaska is a pressure because again, you know your budget, you know like individual 
priorities, you know, and you shouldn't feel like you're under pressure because you are you are under this community. This community is yeah, it's all Kenya. Ita o Kenya pressure o sa itibo romang o ta ipona o rekile ntoto sa kono ngundi afota and I think we should do away with that uh, uh, ideologies. And this whole thing of wanting to live in a loft. Hi, I live in the north of Joburg. I live in a loft. I live mm. in a penthouse. I, who cares? Na na kere. I live in. Let's go to Durajang. You know where we live. Yo, stay there to relax. Yo, na kere. I live in the north of Joburg. Do la cause mo. No, it's in the north. But uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't put yourself under pressure, mm. guys. I mean, there's so much to and that's the thing about life. It's never gonna stop. Mm. We always have to be somewhere, we're always going to give our time to things that are demanding. But you shouldn't find yourself now because we're now you know. I and was I was told <laughs> no not told asked sometimes I think I told you about it 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 really pissed me off I was asked um some time ago Hori, um when when are you going to when are you going to buy a Porsche or was was it asked in that no 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 when are you changing your car oh okay <laughs> so I said why do I have to change my car mm. it's like like when are you buying a Porsche? I'm like, mm. sweetie, do you know how many cars I've driven mm. ever since I started uh, mm. being, being mm. independent? Mm. More than 10. Mm. Mm. And uh, there was a point in time in a year I used to change. And it was, it was ridiculous. Remember, mm. I used to change like six cars in a year. In a year. Why? Yo. Because King. I was consumed by... <laughs> when it was just um, a couple of months. Yeah, when it was like 12, de- 12 decades. Oh, yeah. When it was yeah, yeah, it was yeah, 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 yeah. We were living on above 12 decades. I mean, oh, 12 cool. ga- decades, the last two floors are the yeah, hotel yeah. and the penthouse. So, and then the apartments are between floor... I was on floor four. Between pl- floor five and one. Oh, mm. yeah. So, the lifestyle, you know when you, 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 you're staying in Komabone? Yeah. And I was still in corporate, I think that, you yes, I was still in corporate yeah. at that time. I'm a branch manager and I'm, mm. you know, changing the cars every day. <laughs> yes. so I'm, I'm hiring the cars, Gustav Price. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. darling. Upatela, price 1.4 gold. Chico Marotamaka Benz. That's the perks that yeah. he had with yeah. having me be there. The so, sorry to catch you. Remember when I drove the Benz and then someone said, clearly we're just getting so much money from Kulas wanted to afford that car. Yes. I was like, I'm not going to respond to you. How to my tata car for sec. Because guys, it was just, it was. I think it was like three or four months old. The, mm. a, the A-class, mm. you know, mm. the hatch one. But guys, Nike, but I've always seen my boning as heel pro. It has never changed. Well, recently, but recently, when it started, it's, when it started, it was because really, really nice. lively mm. and it was expensive, mm. and it still is, it still actually, is, it still is, mm. and yeah. So I mean, I was consumed by all this lifestyle, yeah, Hori. I also seeking validation is is very dangerous, yeah. especially yeah. in the queer I community. Seek with validation yeah. Yeah. so much at that time, mm. yeah. and it was j- purely because I was really immature. You know, I still mm. needed to grow and mature, and and life in Ponsidi flames and realize, oh, mm. but this is not always about having to no, show people that I can. Shy. We had to move back home. Mm. Some of us, like I had to mm. move back home. My mom was like, "I am tired of you complaining. Come back home." Mm. And I remember. Let me tell you something. What happens in your life when you surrender? Mm. Because I used to stress about rent and I was stressing about electricity. Same time, I'm stressing about food. And same time, I'm keeping appearances. Mm. And I have to go to all these events. I have to be bougie, the celebrity. And when I go back home, I'm so exhausted. I remember my mom was like, come back home. I'm tired because you're always asking for money. You're asking Mm. for this. Let me tell you the power of surrendering. So now this is spiritual me. (laughs) (laughs) Take it to church, baby. I remember I moved back home. I remember waking up in the morning, there was so much silence. I was so at peace. Guys, peace of mind is so expensive. Mm. Mm. I have never, yo, like, mm. like, even when my mom was shouting at everyone, it was music to my ears. It was just like, mm. it's better. Like, yeah. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then that time I'm just laughing. And then mm. my brother's like, why are you laughing? I'm like, you don't understand the peace mm. I am feeling. Mm. Ever since that moment, when mm. I moved back home, mm. I made sure by the time moving out, that I will never find myself mm. without peace. 
mm. in my place. And that's the thing that we don't strive for. Mm. We, we like, there's so much peace. Like, I'm, hold on, no, I'm in my comfort. I just love being in a peaceful place. Mm. Because when we put so much pressure on ourselves, mm. we end up killing ourselves. That's why there's so much depression amongst the queer community. Mm. Most of us are walking coffins. Mm. Mm. And, you know, we do so much for each other, especially as friends, if you love one another. Yeah. I mm. mean, to a point where there was a point before he moved back home, there was a time where he was supposed to move back home mm. and you know i was like this cannot happen mm. and i sacrificed and i was like friend you can move into because at my morning i had bought okay. mm. so i said you can move into my apartment if you're going to share it's fine you guys just need to make sure that you pay rent yeah. on yeah. time yeah and guess what i did mm. i had to move out and where did i go home <laughs> Not because I couldn't afford or I moved back home because for me it made sense at that mm, time. Mm. And I was obviously looking at at the person that he Would is within the industry and um, because we've yeah, been on and off with our working, rela yeah. working relationship and yeah. that time I tried to really, you know, be there and assist Ma, him with the I brand building. I know building. that you, you've, you've done so many sacrifices for many celebrities in the industry. You know, without name dropping. You no, know, let's not. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, I know. Let's I know not. Oh, no, they're going to take me to the lawyers. <laughs> no. Katlo, Katlo guys has pulled some strings for a few well-known people. And, and I think it's a good uh, personality that you have. Um, well done. Well I'm done. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost out thousands yeah, of yeah, rents, yeah, so yeah. it's enough now. Also, mm. I, I like what you touched on, Puja, about uh, acceptance, you know, because there was, uh, I think... A year and a half, if not two years, where I, I I didn't I didn't work. I got retrenched at work and things changed, you know. You are freelancing, you get called once, you know, you know how this industry can uh, this mm. industry can be. So it was so tough that to even buy I'm getting teary. <laughs> to mm. even buy sanitary uh, towels oh, was oh. difficult. Because Angiti Upume Upume Kaya when you were eighteen, uh, you bought your car at nineteen, mm. you extended the house at twenty, <laughs> you know, mm. you bought your own house at twenty one. You mm. see, all those achievements got addicti uh, ad uh, addictive. And when life is no longer giving you those victories, mm. you felt as though maybe but uh, am I failing? But am when, I failure? But mm. but when you look at your peers, you're like a uh, uh, girl. Even even when you are hitting rock bottom, you you you've got yourself because yeah. you, you managed to remember to leave your place of birth is the first victory, guys, that you can get for yourself. Being mm. independent, yeah. To leave that place, to leave uh, when I got to school in, in Jobek to study further after my metric. guys. I think it ran a job by Pumang Alma at 12 midnight. So I had to leave before local taxis. He said, How can I mail or follow a memang mang mang mang? Oh, yeah, do my memory. I get a job, I get a scolon. I get a scolon. Kwa fungwa mosikulo mosiku takna muntozo fungwa. Kari, in Jesus name, kani amela, kari, kia sama. Because there's nothing yeah. for me here mm. anymore. There's nothing for me anymore here. And you know, once you you overcome those small battles, you know, I bupilong haona nikseto eman between na li, li, li success. Because you were able to overcome things that... Guys, you can't see who about uh, uh, physical eye or motor, but for the fact that we let her to that level, I we are kai, read them more. I don't know to what I am going to go. Okay, let's try a jewel. Motiari, and it happens, it happens, it happens, it happens, and also just you know, with what you just said, Jorge, it, it, you know, you sometimes we hit rock bottom. Um, considering the industry that we are in, which is entertainment, there's different aspects. I mean, there's production, there's this, there's, you know, presenters and all that. Yeah. I mean, being hit by level four, um, personally, I would like to ask you guys, how is it really affecting you financially? Because it is a serious problem that we are faced with. You being know, an entertainer. You know, about it now, sometimes I feel like, you know, my ancestors, know, you know, like, you know, they do like ballet shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a key to like, yeah. on some, my mm -hmm. mother, my father, on some troll -la -la yeah. And mm -hmm. when Katli called me, right, and mm -hmm. I said to Katli, it's like, you know, I've just paid so many things and I'm worried that I'm running out of funds. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay, cool. 
I just got you a certain gig whereby you can go, and I'm just like, you don't understand mm. what you just did to mm. me, what you just did for me now, because we are literally living from hand to mouth, and you cannot say, I've got savings. Mm-hmm. How much are those savings, guys? Mm. When you say you are saving money for rainy days, it rains the following day. <laughs> Darling, it rains every single day. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I, I do understand. But, yo, guys, it's it's so nice uh, to know that even at our worst, they, there was light. You know, there's a bit of light. I think level four, mentally, uh, I'm in a good space. Mentally, I'm in a good space. Financially, I'm still getting myself because some of the things, some of the projects that I, I, I have, it's like event space. And mm. you know that has been shut. So you put such projects on hold. Mm. But um, I'm hoping for better days, Katle. I'm just hoping that we will manage to get vaccinated so that this whole thing can go away because I hear your solution besides vaccination. Mm. Sure. Uh, for someone that survived Corona. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And I think also, I mean, guys, it's it, this is not the first or second lockdown, you know, that has hit the industry entertainment wise. Um, I think it's not also easy to plan mm-hmm. because you can never plan. Because even when the country does open eventually, the gigs also still are not coming because we've been impacted from last year. So there's a lot of promoters or pub owners that still don't have the financial capability yeah. to be able to pay us what we used to bill before. Mm. Now our rates have been cut in half as yeah. well, which is 50% yeah. of your income that's gone. Mm. And here we are sitting, uh, we don't care. Yes, oh well, let me not say this. People will shoot me and kill me. Mm. But I mean, I, I wouldn't say I, I, I really care about the alcohol. Mm. Can you just open up the industry for certain people to still carry on and live their <laughs> life? No, but what I'm saying is, can you can you make it can you make it work? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, we've got people in high places that really need to start making things work. Like on Why can it be only South we can, Africa? We can regulate it. I get where, where Cutley is coming from. We can regulate these things. We don't really need to shut like this. Like, guys, it's so shut right now. Even on the streets of Joburg, like, yo, there's no traffic. It's It's bad. It's very bad. And families are scraping through. Um, and that's the thing about being over ambitious about savings. Because I know uh, my cousin is one of the people that used to save a lot of money. I'm like, okay, the savings are hard to do. Yes, it's angry. No, because. Okay, save us all the corona. You know, I'm like, there's a good dollar to save. You can't say, don't get a good save because Goku, Stuart, and a pandemic. Even the, the trips that you were planning, everything is shut down. So, so um I just I just hope that we're going to have better days and I hope that individually uh, wherever you are watching this from you are doing well man. Yeah. Guys I mean, it is what it is. More. Yeah, there's nothing more we can do. But before we go, mm. never have I ever. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Please. Okay. So okay. you drink when you have done it. Oh, what do we drink? A cup of water. God, Mac I'm going to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Mac G, where's that gin? <laughs> Mac G, bring that gin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, you're going to... No, who's starting? Bougie. Yeah. Should I start? Yeah. Go so, ahead. So we swearing. drink if you have done it. Okay, never have I ever made out in a public toilet. I <laughs> will and it's as charged and it's as charged sparkling water yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> thank goodness okay. it's not Diego Meister <laughs> your turn yeah. never have I ever given a blowjob in a car okay so for me it will be what now because I don't give blowjobs <laughs> Never have I ever licked an ice cream. Who's a 
Kapuzi. No, Kapuzi. No, Kapuzi. No, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. You guys are doing me dirty. Do we need rescue nine one one? Don't choke. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Kachomi, you should have said came off or something. What am I doing? I'm not a blowjob fan. I'm only low. Hey. Okay. Never have I ever. Yo. Yeah, no. Never have I ever eyed my friend's girlfriend or my friend's boyfriend. Inwang, inwang. Bougie. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> my friends don't date guys that I'm attracted to. Is it? Mm, it's it's so always like, mm, meh. Mm. That's okay, Ibali. Yo. Is my, it? No, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of Katli's boyfriends as well. The ones that you've dated, none. I shame they not here, but yes, one. No more. Na kanto ako kopya na Yeah, three. 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 Hence my glass is empty. Ah. Yeah, and I think it was because they were flirting, and I flirted back. Oh, I see. All three of them. Ah. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Different that is occasions. A nice <laughs> <laughs> Darling, if you talk forever, forever in a decent way, uh, from yeah. a distance. Yeah, mm. no, you know, I'm still trying to think about it. Mm. No, none no? of my friends, eh? Okay, last one. Back to you. Back to me? Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Never have I ever, Lord. Hmm. I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever had. Mm-hmm. Sex with the with the opposite sex. Oppos opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Kato is on a little daughter, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this question. <laughs> I have been waiting you know, for this okay. question. No, yeah. Oh, you have. I have. Oh, you know, why are you guys no, 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 I haven't. I haven't. That's why. No, I'm. Si- oh, I thought you were asking. Have I been waiting for this question? <laughs> Mesh asked me this question in the car as well. He's like, daughter, eighteen. So. Are you telling me you used to be straight? I'm like, Mesh, I don't even know how a vagina looks like. So please relax. Oh, I see. This is the 21st century, guys. Yeah. You yeah. do things. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then your turn? Um, never have I ever. <laughs> guys, now I'm very sexual. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever had sex at someone's house who's a friend. Ah, I'm not a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a your house. Oh, my goodness. No, that I know. Hence, I. I <laughs> in my <laughs> bedroom, no house. <laughs> How do you manage Sila? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's going no, to be. No, no, no. No, I don't. <laughs> don't explain. <laughs> no, no, I won't explain. No, don't. Okay. Okay. And by the way, I went out to the shops. Kids will look at you. I will look at something for lunch. Hey, keep on plastic here. My vimbel. My vimbel. Did I not get frustrated? <laughs> so I was like, so. Yeah. And I can see who my eye, man. Everything else is clear, man. But my bedroom, there's. Hi, man. You know, you know what white linen will do, ne? Yeah, will, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, is, what is our friend say? Egyptian and cotton. And hey, <laughs> It moves. Karem, and this was not like this. Mm. Did you guys enjoy something when I was not here? I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was Oh, he was my boyfriend. Oh. It but it was my house. Ah, your bed. <laughs> my my bed. Your condoms. But your lube. Everything was <laughs> mine. <laughs> like serious. Yo. Okay, in closing, never have I ever had more than 100K with one gig. 100K with one gig? Mm. Never have I ever? Made 100K with one gig. I have. Drink, baby. <laughs> Drink. Mm. We're rich like that. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> no, I have. I don't want to lie. Yeah, I have, yeah. I have, I have. Yeah. And um, I guess this is it. Yeah. Mm. This is the one 
We're done. We're done. We oh, what a day. Mm. And we'll see <laughs> Is this our waiter? Yes. 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 Oh, oh, thank you. Please. Oh, my thank you. Yeah. Guys, yeah, he is here today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're schooling him. <laughs> Please bring us pizza. He with this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. So, yeah, so the Queer Way of Life podcast and chill network and we are out, guys. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. We want to give you more and more and more conversations. And remember, if you want to come through and do your own podcast, it's so simple, very, very simple. Just send an email at podcast at mashavela.co.za and you can come and do your thing and have a vibe from this big soul to the big world and to this fabulous friends of mine you, you. <laughs> we're saying stay queer if you're in the closet it's fine we understand but you lesbian be yourself I'm here to assist you come out of the so closet. yeah if you want to go out on a date with me you can just DM me right <laughs> oh my God. Like, guys I want a date please make sure that you're above 34 um, because I'm not trying to raise anyone's son uh, okay. um, and <laughs> <laughs> Please follow me on Instagram, oh, no, guys. I've got over 10 grand, uh, 10k in, at, at Facebook. So he's I've got 10k, I've got, and then I've got close to 40k on Twitter. Mm. But still, my Instagram account, my memories, <laughs> that freaking witch. <laughs> Can't we lawyer them? Can't you give it to Kobela Mang Mang? <laughs> 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 yes, we're out. Bye. <laughs>